This shoot 'em up at a firing range just outside of Los Angeles is all about making a safer house. This will stop every handgun, all shotguns, most all military rifles. Are you going to shoot at this today? We're going to shoot at it today. Okay, let's have a look at it. Let's go. <laughs> That's Al Corby, architect turned security guru, who, with the help of a hired gun, is today testing new materials that will eventually end up in the many houses he builds for the mega rich. And up high over LA, you can see he practices what he preaches. Corby's built himself the ultimate safe, secure home. But first, remember the movie Panic Room? Well, Al has created something even better, and it's so much more than just a room to run to. Don't call it a panic house, it's anything but, because all the security he's built into this place gives you the reason to feel very secure, rather than very panicky. And it starts with the doors. No burglar is certainly going to smash through this one. And there's more. Now have a look at this door over here. Okay. Go ahead, open it up. Okay. No? Locked. <laughs> it is? Wait a minute. No, it's not. <laughs> because it knows me. All right. So I can go That's in, a you couldn't. Door. <laughs> Very smart door. It opens right. for him because the camera in the door knows his face. Let's have some fun. Right. Let's pretend you're my evil brother. And we've already told the door, the whole home for that matter, that you don't belong here, right? Right. When you go up to the door, it'll not only not let you in, but it still sees you. Mm -hmm. And since the door knows you're my evil brother, right. and I've said, if you show up, let me know right away, I'll get notified instantly that you're here. Now, I could be in Paris, and I'm having a chat with you. And I'm saying, evil brother, why are you there? Right. So the doors are that intelligent. But and that dangerous. One, once the door sees me, it's fine. Right. Now, seeing this is considered one of the safest homes in the entire world, what you notice first off is that there are no big fences around, there are no security guards, and there are no bars on all of these windows. But if, and it's a very big if, if the bad guys do get inside, well, they're in for trouble because they're going to discover that this home is an intruder's nightmare. Al and his wife Lana work together on the houses. We don't want confrontation. You don't walk down the stairs with a baseball bat or even a gun and hope for the best. I would rather be architecturally protected behind walls that are impenetrable, behind doors that are impenetrable. So the Corbys build houses which have, rather than a safe room, a safe core, a super secure section inside their already secure home. Within the safe core, my doors are open to my children. I don't have to run and get them. I don't have to gather them up. I'm already safe. And back at the firing range, we're about to see how secure. But we've got the walls, ceilings, and floors to deal with. So the contractor will make us an actual piece of the house, a small piece. We'll then shoot at the piece of the house, but what we're able to do is use these ballistic panels and set them in here until the bullet doesn't go through anymore. And say a gunman is outside and wants to shoot you through the window, well, he's got that covered too. This glass performed beautifully. It didn't, didn't come through. Didn't come through. So if there would have been a person here, they would have been safe. Right. Fabulous, fabulous. Yeah. And for a price, that's all built into your house. So would you say this is the safest part of the house? It is. Um, what you want to do is have a safe core as opposed to a safe room or panic right. room. Okay. In this case, it's the whole master bedroom suite and supporting rooms, both of our children's rooms, the foyer, elevator. You have walls, ceilings, and floors, all ballistic. Um, the bed, for instance, right. the bed is sitting on a ballistic frame. Oh, right. Okay. So, That's so. That's different. <laughs> Heavens forbid, somehow, I don't know how, but if a blast or projectiles were to somehow get up through the floor and you're on the bed, mm -hmm. you're safe. Another disaster has happened now. Uh -huh. Earthquake. Sure. You can't get down to Los Angeles because all the roads are blocked. Do you need a chopper pad? 
That's exactly why you need one. In the case of Los Angeles, we have earthquakes, brush fires, and all of these little roadways that get up here instantly clog up. If one of my children choked on a chicken bone or my father-in-law had a heart attack, um, the hospital's right there. We have a helicopter company on standby. And finally, when you have the intruder cornered and he's still alive and kicking from anywhere in the world, Al can remotely deal the coup de grace. Bring on the gas. Whoa. All right. That's technical. I <laughs>